time for another Dollar Tree haul. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited about this haul. Oh, it's gonna be so epic. Oh my god, I spent so much money. So much money was spent. I actually got some other stuff, but I thought today we would just do a Halloweeny haul. So let's get into it. So first off, I got this headband that is so cute. It's got little little skeletons. They still jiggle after your head stops. See? See the jiggle action? You like the jiggle action? I like the jiggle action. So I went to a Dollar Tree that's kind of not out of the way, but kind of out of the way, if that makes sense. Like, it's not my closest Dollar Tree. I'll just say that. And if you guys live in Houston, because I've been to several Dollar Trees since Halloween stuff started coming out, and this one had everything. It had the most epic amount of Halloween stuff I have ever seen at any Dollar Tree since I started shopping at Dollar Tree in like 2003. So for you guys that are in Houston, it is the Cypress location that is off of Spring Cypress. It is near the Hobby Lobby in Cypress. So I know a lot of Houston subscribers and if you guys want to find this stuff, they still had a ton of it and that is why this Dollar Tree haul is coming out earlier than October because you know the Dollar Tree. They put shit out that it's gone. So I wanted to get this out so you guys can go hit up the Dollar Tree and find some of this amazing stuff. So I got these mirror clings. They're pretty spooky. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to put them, but I thought they were amazing and I will find a place. I'm probably actually thinking about putting one of these on our bathroom mirror. But some of the stuff I bought you guys is for the next house too because I don't know if I'm fully going to decorate this house again. Um, so y'all might see this stuff in like the next year or two years in the new house. So anyways, this one is like this scary, hideous, angry baby. It's the best I could describe it. I might try to put that on my garage actually because I feel like it'll blend in and be weird. Um, and then there's this creepy skeleton guy. So next I found these and I actually have some of these but they're like actually framed and they're you know like one way you see like a normal person. Let me see if I can do this on camera. Normal and then a scary guy. Um, these aren't like the big frames from like the party store like I have that looks like artwork that changes but I still thought this was really cool. Again, I don't think this will go in our house this year, but um, I thought it would be so cool for the next house or possibly next year. So, how cool, I've never seen the Dollar Tree put out stuff this cool. How many times can I say cool in a video? Let's find out. <laughs> um, oh, there's more in that bag. I got a lot of bags. We might be in for the long haul. If you need to, pause this video now because you know I like to talk and I got a lot of shit to haul, so maybe go get yourself a refreshment, go pee. We're gonna be here a while. So the next thing I got is this door cup. Shut up! I didn't even realize it illuminated until I like felt the thing in there. So it's a battery operated illuminated door cover. So I will probably put this on our door this year. You basically cover your front door with it and apparently the lantern will glow. So I'll probably actually just wait till Halloween day to put this on our door though. You know, like the day kids come trick or treating in case this thing doesn't last long, you know what I'm saying? So I got that for our door this year. That is really cool. I've never, I didn't even notice when I bought this, the damn thing lit up. Okay, and then these don't light up. These are window decorations. I will probably put these up the only thing that sucks about our windows is um, our windows have like the lots of lines and the panes, you know, it's not just like one down the middle. So I'll probably hang these up at the beginning when I decorate for Halloween in our two upstairs um, windows. But I thought they're cool. They're just little skeletons coming out looking all spooky. Um, so <laughs> there's this is going to be all next stuff and I'm sorry. I got cards for our niece and nephew and Katie who is also our niece but she's older this is the one I got for Katie I just like to send them I'm gonna send them little um five dollar gift cards you know or for the younger ones I'm just gonna send them five dollars cash but for Katie I'm gonna send her like a Starbucks gift card it says monster mullets hair is to you on Halloween I just thought that was really cute um 
Then the teacher and me felt the need to buy pencils to give out with candy. I got a couple, I think I got like some teeth or something to give out with candy so they didn't just get candy. They got like fun Halloween pencils and um, then little vampire glow in the dark teeth. I got those too. We'll see them eventually in this haul. I got this little dish towel thing for the kitchen for October. Then I actually have a bunch of these in the attic with our Halloween stuff. But these are really fantastic to de decorate with. They're creepy cloths and I use it to make our haunted mansion look in the dining room. Um, I hang it over like the windows and like the curtains we have. But it's just like kind of like cheesecloth but black and really big. Um, you can get it in gray too. I did see it in gray. Then they had so many wooden signs. There are like so many. Um, this one, I couldn't pick between this and they had two others. I actually took some clips inside the Dollar Tree and I'm going to insert them at the end of all this to show you some of the stuff I didn't get. But um, so this is, says Happy Halloween Nightmares Haunted Jack-O-Lantern Sprite Creepy trick or treat yeah I don't really know what the hell I'm gonna do with this <laughs> I might make it some kind of wreath and sell it later um I don't know I just I love when I see these wooden signs because there's so much you can do with it you know you can make a wreath you can make decorations you can use it probably we'll probably use it in the next house because I don't know where it's gonna go this year they had a bunch like that that had different sayings and different colors and stuff I got this um I'm going to get like a um Oh Lord, you know how I am with words. I'm going to get an easel to prop it up on and cut the string off and like prop it up on the bar, you know, to make it look like a menu or somewhere in the kitchen. It says the Lucky Raven Cafe, Batwing Biscotti, five cents, Lucky Raven Latte, 25, Creepy Cappuccino, 25, Gang Green Tea, 15 cents, Moonrise to Midnight, Friday the 13th. I thought that was cute to like put in your kitchen and make it look like, you know, a menu. Well, it is a menu, but you know, like a creepy fun Halloween menu. So the next thing I got was these roses, the black roses. Um, they have purple spiders and I don't know what the fuck that is. Twigs, spooky twigs, I don't know. So. I already have some black roses and I make like this vase thing and you guys will probably see it in the I'll probably do like some Halloween decoration video or whatever and so I I don't remember how many roses I had so I just bought one of these just to add to it oh this is my favorite thing I found you guys I think I got three of these we'll see um, I found these these are so cute on their own right I'm like these are so cute I'm getting them and I didn't realize is it gonna show up? Can y'all see? It like changes colors. How cool is that? They had a black one. It's actually a lot brighter than it's showing on camera. But I thought that was so freaking cool. So I got three of them. And I pulled the little tab out to make sure they worked. You guys, I don't I don't wanna like promote pulling the tab out, but I had to do that because the first two I put in my basket, I was like, I better try these before I bought them, and they didn't work. So make sure you pull the tab, if you're gonna buy it, pull the tab out, um, make sure it's off when you pull the tab out, and then once it's out, then give it a second and switch it on and make sure it works. So yeah, I got two more of those. I was so excited about this, it's so cute. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it, but it does come where you can replace the battery, so it can be reused. But they had black and they had a skull that also did the same thing. I just like the orange pumpkins best. Then I already had some creepy birds and rats from previous decorations. Does that sound right? But I got another little bird. I thought he was pretty cute. I got him to add to my creepy bird collection. And then they had an owl, so you know I had to get the owl. So freaking cute. Um, you can find this kind of stuff in the Target dollar spot, but it's usually like $3. So the fact that I can find this stuff at Dollar Tree, real nice. So much glitter in these bags, it looks like Halloween threw up. So then I found the other two cards. This one is for my nephew to a special boy. It's got Frankenstein. It says Frankenstein likes Halloween and trick or treating too. But he's sure glad when you're around because mostly he likes you. Have fun. That was so cute. And for my little niece, it says for a wicked cool girl, 
Hoping that your Halloween will be a Halloween brew of chills and thrills, friends and fun, no matter what you do, have a great time. Oh yes, this Justin actually pointed out and he was totally- Oh my God, but the crab turkey. It's everywhere. Halloween crab turkey. Case y'all don't know, glitter is the herpes of the craft world. So, Justin and I like to call it craft herpes. Um, anyway, so, good God. I'm gonna have to wash these, obviously, before I wash them anyway, but anyway, so they had these amazing skeleton tongs, and when we have Halloween parties, which we're probably not gonna do until we move to the new house again, we should have really epic Halloween parties. Things would happen on our Halloween parties that was like, you don't talk about it once you leave. Um, so... <laughs> Our Halloween parties have gotten pretty weird. I like how I'm using the skeleton hands like they're mine. Our Halloween parties would get pretty weird, especially the year we decided to play beer pong with Four Loco. And not the new Four Loco, the old Four Loco formula. So you guys that are older, you know about that Four Loco. Anyway, so we thought this would be cute. We have our Halloween party again to like get ice with the, I don't know why. We just thought these were amazing and like chips. So we got two of them. I don't know where the other one is. So we got two of those. And it's actually like pretty thick, good rubber. It's not a rub, rub plastic, I don't know. It's really good plastic. It's not like that cheap stuff either, you know what I mean? Um, and then we got these, these eyeballs. And again, it is for adult things. It is for Halloween beer pong. Um, I was like, we have to get that, put it with the Halloween stuff, so when we have a party again, we can play beer pong with idols. Okay, so the next thing is more stuff for the trick-or-treaters. This is what I was talking about, these, like, glow-in-the-dark things. Did y'all ever get these when you were little? Like, and you, like, walk around all night with them in your mouth? I don't know. I always thought these were fun when I was little. Justin made me really sad. He never got a trick-or-treat when he was little. Um, I'm not sure if it was just for religious reasons or whatnot, but he was like, I was like, babe, we have to get those. Do you remember being little and you get them and be so exciting? He's like, I don't know. I never got a trick or treat. I was like, well, now I feel like an asshole being like, ah. so we got these for our little trick or treaters this year to mix in with the pencils and candy and whatnot. The next thing I got is it's like a, I got two of them. It's kind of, I guess, supposed to be like a sign, you know? which it can be, really cute. But I actually bought it for the bar. I bought two of them to kind of look like placemats. We don't really eat at the bar. I mean, sometimes we do. I usually like edit there and stuff during the day sometimes, but I thought it'd be cute to put it in front of the two bar stools like little placemats. And it says like boo all the way around and little pumpkins and spiders. And so I got two of those, although they're so cute. Something is missing. I will have to find it later, but we got, I know we got two of these. Um, these are the ice cube trays and they're like the bendy silicone kind um, and they have skeletons and I feel like we got spider ones but I don't know where they they grew legs and walked away apparently they're probably in my car but I know we got two of these um, but we got some spider ones and I thought these are really cool I make Amber and Ralph like frozen treats and um, I use a lot of these sil silicone molds but you can use them for ice they're like Maybe even jello shots. Like, you know, at an ha adult Halloween party. An adult Halloween party. You could put jello shots in them. I never even thought about that. That would be really cute. And then I don't know how I stumbled across this last thing and I couldn't find any more of it. It was like by itself sitting on a shelf like somebody had second thoughts and stuck it back. And lucky me, it is the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers Cosmetic Kit in Femme Fatale and it has these really pretty eyelashes with like crystals on them. It has two shadows called Trick. Trick is a um, like gray color. It looks matte and then Treat is a sparkly black color and then it comes with a really red lipstick and a really red nail polish. So I wish I could have found more of these honestly mostly because that's a great deal for eyelashes but the fact that it comes with shadows and all that too is amazing. I don't know where they had these or if somebody bought them all and decided to just leave one, but I was lucky enough to find this, so thank you, Jesus. All right, guys, that is the end of my Dollar Tree Halloween haul. 
I just thought it would be so fun to do this for you guys. Hopefully I got this out there early enough for you guys to see they have amazing stuff so you can run to the Dollar Tree before they run out of stuff because you guys, they put stuff out within like a week, the good stuff is gone. So go to your Dollar Tree if you can. Now get your purse, get your keys, get your kids, get your car, go to Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome this year that they have. Anyways guys, I'll see you later.